Once upon a time in a distant land, Nadir and Chaltel's story began. With this tasteful cooking, lies and deceit, one criminal man escaped Chantel's stinky feet. If pain and regret was not part of the story, it wouldn't be an endless fight for all glory. Raw chicken, raw chicken, Nadir is not a chef, Chantel's obsession will never be her last breath. With theft and pain, Chantel's anger is not a game. Will Nadir become the top chef of Spain? Or will Chantel be left in the rain to cry only in shame? We all make choices, some good, some bad. How you change the story will be met with a shag. Okay. Chantel loved Nadir a lot. Chantel makes YouTube channel, helps Nadir make YouTube channel because she loves Nader. Chantal buys $300 worth of groceries every week because she loves Nader. Chantal does everything because she loves Nader. Okay? His own platform without my help. Every single thing. I literally made the account, helped him set up his AdSense, um, requested the pin for his AdSense, put the pin in when it came, Edited all of every single video that's recorded on there. I edited it and filmed. And the majority of his audience is my fan base. So, where did you make your own channel? Listen, you don't realize what I did for you. So, here you go. I gave you a platform, okay? You would not have a channel. Get it through your broccoli skull. You would not have a channel if it weren't for me, okay? Moron, you sit there on your own live stream, on your channel that I set up for you. The only thing about your channel is that 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 is successful because of your own doing. Yeah, your idea to set it up. Welcome to the Natarell Shammy Files. In order to start this video, Accurately, we have to go on a little bit of a derailment starting with Foodie Beauty. That's why you see two faces here instead of usually one. I'm going to talk about her for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes and address some things that she had to say even before I started filming this video because she wanted to make it very clear her thoughts on this video that she heard that I was making on her past lover who is a terrible, terrible person and a criminal. So before we begin, I also need to highlight one important fact is that Nadir has been known to pathologically, chronologically um, remove people's YouTube videos. So I give anyone watching this video full permission to download the video, spread the video, upload the video in full context because he likes to privacy complaint videos and he likes to copyright strike people falsely because he doesn't understand what fair use is. In fact, there was an article just roughly about a week ago. He has filed a total of over 100 copyright strikes on smaller channels that do commentary and talk about situations in this little niche community that keeps up to date with Nadir and also um, Foodie Beauty. And if you don't remove the video you talk about me, I strike you again and again and again and I call your name. I don't know you. To me, my life, you not exist. But you know, talk to this person because she have small channel. Looking for the one beggar to make some subscriber and build them channel. You do the same thing to me when you don't like people to do it to you. Hypocrite. That's the hypocrite. I finished live stream tonight. Any content you use for my content, you're not allowed. And I told you, you're not allowed no permission. I will take it down. I take only how many. I don't even count, but you have a lot. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about Foodie Beauty. Foodie Beauty, a channel with over 90,000 subscribers, has built a very niche community of people who watch her every little move. See, if it wasn't for her terrible multiple live streams every single day, her constant projection, lying, whining, and complaining about getting back with her now ex-lover, you won't find much of substance other than eating and proclaiming her love for her ex. When I announced that I was making a video on Natter, I posted several tweets on social media, doing a deep dive into the deep rabbit hole that seems to be endless, only to have Foodie Beauty make a dedicated video 
in response to my video, which hadn't even been made yet. Creating a YouTube account tutorial for Repsion. Hey Repsion, this is a message coming to you with all of my makeup all over my face. So I just discovered some, I guess, tweets that you so passionately put out that you are going to destroy Nader El Shami, blah, blah, blah. That's all fine and dandy. But I also see that you are accusing me in your post of giving him, giving him a platform. No, 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 no. Yes because you did. You see, Chantel, there's a thing called empirical evidence, and it's something that I heavily rely upon in a lot of my content. I've actually made this so easy that I don't really have to say a whole lot outside of using video documentation of your own words of things that you've published online. It's very reminiscent of the man known as Onision. Once you post something to the internet in video format, it is there permanently, whether or not you delete it. And in Chantal's case, she happens to be one of these people that if she thinks that she deletes something, Therefore, it no longer exists. But thanks to the wonderful technology that is the internet, there is a lot of deleted things that we're going to be showcasing. And the intro of this video already establishes that, yes, using your own words, you gave him a platform. You pushed your audience over to him to subscribe to him. There are hundreds of multiple community posts on YouTube of you cross-promoting his YouTube channel and telling other people to go subscribe to him. This happened, and no matter what you do to delete it, it exists and it is out there. Empirical data... No, 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 no. You need to keep that same energy, fuck all the way off with it, and accuse YouTube of giving him a platform. Because you see, Repsion, as smart as you are, you fail to realize that creating a YouTube channel is as easy for anybody in any fucking language as a click of a button. And then any idiot knows what generalized form comes after that every single thing i literally made the account so you just admitted that you were the idiot who created his youtube channel he gave you the idea you took all the other proper steps to do it enter your name your username blah 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 account created so it's literally as easy as one two no i don't even think there's three steps there might only be two steps to creating a YouTube account. If you want me to provide a tutorial, I can. Gosh gee willikers, that was invigorating. I now know how to create a YouTube channel since I've been on the platform for over 13 plus years. What would I do without you, foodie beauty? Furthermore, the victim shaming bullshit in that comment is bullshit. I helped him make a channel when I was in the middle of a very abusive relationship with him. So, to be blamed for any actions during that whole time in regards to what I did for him is just ridiculous and stupid and shows your lack of knowledge in regards to domestic violence relationships. So, have a nice day. I'll just continue to let you be very naive or just play dumb because that's what you like to do. But no place in my original tweet did I victim shame you. In my tweet, it is factually accurate and correct to say that you helped create his YouTube channel. No place in that tweet that I say that you're responsible for what he has done individually. Every choice, everything that Nadir has done since you guys are no longer together, those are his own choices. And even when you guys were together, friends, whatever, every individual is responsible for what they do individually. If they use their platform to go after other people in dangerous criminal ways, that is on them. However, even if you or I are stuck in an abusive relationship, that does not negate what you or I do and the choices that we make. Even if we're stuck in an abusive relationship, you and I have choices. And it's okay to be on camera and say, I did wrong, or I shouldn't have done this, or I regret this, or I made a mistake, whatever it be. The simple acknowledgement that you made a choice to promote his YouTube channel, and in fact, let's take it a step further, these are just a few videos currently on your YouTube channel right now as I'm making this video that still have Nadir Nader included and promoted on your YouTube channel. And I think a great example to highlight here is my own personal experience where I screwed up something really, really bad. Several years ago, I was stuck in a very bad, abusive relationship. And during that relationship, something happened to the person I was dating. And because I cared for them, because I loved them at the time, I chose to go on social media 
and say something that was false and wrong in defense of somebody who, at the time, I was stuck in a bad relationship. That doesn't negate what I did. I still went on social media and I made an accusation that was wrong, that was false, and that was my choice. Even though I was in that bad relationship, I still made that choice. In the same way, Chantal, foodie beauty, you can just simply acknowledge that, yes, I did this. I was wrong. I regret this. I helped him create a YouTube channel. I mean, after all, there's empirical evidence that of you literally admitting this. So there's not much else to me to say other than you just defeated yourself. You contradicted yourself. You are lying to yourself. But I understand that it is far easier for you to sit on a camera and only say things that make yourself feel better rather than acknowledge that you had a choice. You made a decision to platform and push a person's channel to target older women financially. Natter is responsible for the things that he has done and the things that people that he has targeted. And while you do play a small part in that, you, Chantal, and listen very carefully, you're not responsible for what he did to other people. You are responsible for giving him a platform and sending your audience over to him. That is documented, that is factual, that is irrefutable, and if you still denied that, well then there's really no help for you, and you're far more deranged and delusional than I originally thought. Sometimes, it's better to be uncomfortable and acknowledge that, hey, I did wrong and I made a bad choice, and that's okay. We're human, we make mistakes, but a mistake cannot be a mistake unless you acknowledge it and you admit it that you made that bad choice choice. There's no shame in it. But no, you want to change information and accuse me <laughs> of victim shaming you. So let's talk about that. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Sponsor of the channel today, Vance Global. Vance Global features CBD, Delta 8, and THO smokes, and they are smooth as butter, biodegradable filters, no additives, 100% organic. They'll make you fly all the way up to heaven so you can meet Jesus himself in the flesh. But if smokes are not your thing, they have CBD gummies, and these are their brand new product. They are lit as they can be. Delta 8, and it's all lab tested. THO if you want something even more powerful. But let me tell you something about these gummies. If you are a light user, you need a nice little slice. If you are a medium user, Cut the thing in half, and if you are a heavy user, just eat one, maybe two. These things will knock you on your ass. They ship to all 50 states, and if you use my discount code REPSION at checkout, you're going to get 20% off all orders. Additionally, if you subscribe and save, you'll actually receive 30% with REPSION30 using their subscription model. And due to the nature of the topic of this video, part of the sponsorship money that I receive from today's sponsor will also be donated to a DV charity. Fundraiser should be up in the corner or left or right of the screen here. Let's raise another thousand dollars for charity for people who are currently stuck or DV related issues are not being taken seriously. Hashtag abuse holds no gender. Click the link down below and support the channel. Hello there, students. Welcome to Victim Blaming 101. And today I'm going to give you a short little lecture on specifically what victim shaming is. See, there's a lot of deranged people out in the world. These people like to use terms and words that they don't know what the meaning is. So allow me to educate the class. We're going to go through A and a B and C. Let's say number A. A man or a woman walk down the street at night and that man or woman is wearing fishnets. And in the process, a man comes out of the alleyway and he mugs that man or woman wearing the fishnets. Beats them all up. But across the street, there happens to be a police officer who sees this ultimate crime. And instead of the officer doing what he is supposed to do, the officer says, well, that man or that woman was wearing fishnets. It was his or hers fault because they wore the fishnets. That is victim blaming. Example number B. A man or a woman are at a house party and one bad person spikes their drinks. Not just one, but a bunch of drinks. Some people drink these things and they pass out on the couch. And men and women, when the person is unconscious, take their turns with this individual. Some bystander in the corner sees this happening. He says, this is not okay. He files a police report, reports the people. But the police don't take him seriously. Well, maybe they should have been more responsible with the drinks that they drank. Then that man or woman, had they been more responsible, they wouldn't have experienced being roofied. It's their fault. That is in another example of victim shaming. And finally, for my 
absolute favorite example, Foodie Beauty. Chantal, you yourself are a victim blamer. Do you not believe me? Do you not recall the things that you have said about another individual by the name of Dee Dee? Someone who you absolutely hate. And why do you hate this person so much? Because they're now with the person who you are in love with. Remember how I said empirical data. Evidence is very important. See for yourself. I guess she was punched in the face by her fucking ex. Do you like, oh, who cares, Mizu? Is that another dollar seventy nine British fucking pound that you need? You need to stop victim shaming people. You need to stop telling people how to process traumatic events in their life, okay? I've done some stupid and said some stupid shit in my life, uh, all right? But none of that, none of that has anything, any relation to me having been in a abusive relationship. I see him being violent to her. I don't care. I don't. I don't. He can do whatever the fuck he wants to her and she'll eat it up because her ex gave her several black eyes and she doesn't give a fuck. She's like, yes, another please. Here, here. Hit me. Yeah, because you're a fucking low life piece of shit. You love it. You fucking love. You fucking love. She has more plaster patches on her condo walls. There's more? He? Oh no. Mm. You know who's gonna be the punching bag later? Seriously, I'm not kidding. Like, nobody gives a fuck. The reason we saw him wail on you and cry for your dad, and you still are with this asshole looking like a bowl of chips, is fucking the fact that you don't love yourself. I do not feel 1% bad for anything that happens to Didi. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Nope. Even if more videos come out, I don't care. I have a dead heart for any of those people. Even if I see him being violent to her, I don't care. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm an empath. And bitch, you think you're going to impersonate me? You could never be me. You wish. You wish you were the woman I was, bitch. Because no, no woman is going to stay with that loser. You're not a woman. You're a weak piece of crap. You give women a bad name, actually. Actually, it would make sense that you're really a man because you have size 13 feet. And not just that. Actually, women do have size 13 feet. But look how fat I am, horse face. Look how fat I am. All this? Still hotter than you, bitch, at 500 pounds. Your fucking mother and your, and your daughter's fat. And you're going to bully me? Really? Really? Why do I have to be so empathetic? I'm tired of these people with no job sitting on their ass in section fucking eight housing criticizing me every day. Get a life, okay? Get a life. Get a life. All of you have gappy teeth. Get out of here. So there you have it, foodie beauty Chantal. You cannot take the moral high ground, the steps up saying, I, Repsion, am victim blaming you when I'm not. But most of all, you're victim blaming other people who you don't like, who are women, by saying deplorable, terrible things about them, how you don't care. But simultaneously, you're also saying, well, I'm an empath. You know, I'm just too sympathetic, empathetic. Good old me, I care for everybody, while also saying you don't care if somebody is being violently abused. Gosh, gee willikers. Say it ain't so. You're making this easier than Onision ever did. But we all know that if you had the chance with the Onion Man himself, he's sexy. Now, I could continue talking about Foodie Beauty for probably the next three hours. However, she is not the main story villain of today's video. As stated from the intro, this is on Nadir, the certified professional chef of Canada. In fact, he's so good at everything he makes that he has to tell the world, his barber, how famous he is with his 8,000 subscribers, that he gets 20,000 views per video.
اول ما بدات عملت بس 1500 اول شهر اول شهر Yes, Netter, you're a professional chef, which is why you're living off a 50 plus year old woman and financially taking advantage of her. But we'll get into that later. So let's talk about Netter. You see, he is an immigrant who came to Canada from allegedly Egypt. I don't know if that's where he grew up the whole majority of his life. But regardless, he came to Canada and somehow, some way, got involved with Foodie Beauty as she wanted to pay for. The Jiggy Jiggy. How they met, don't really care. It's not part of the story. They were friends, semi, dated, I don't know, don't care, not important. But what is important is his relationship with another person by the name of Didi. Now, Foodie Beauty, Didi, and Natter have all been intermangled in this trio drama fest that is really dysfunctional and all over the place. Allegedly, they had a whole jiggy jiggy gangbang. Most of it is way too much TMI. I'm sure you guys don't really, really want to know about that. I'll save that for my actual dedicated Foodie Beauty review when it, uh, video when it comes out. But anyways, Didi and Natter are officially in a relationship. They are a couple. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice about Natter um, is that when he does his live streams, if you specifically go to his channel, you'll see that he has a lot of mods. Now, if you actually take a deep dive into all these mods that he has on his live streams, you'll find that all these women are older women. The majority of them are women, older women between like the ages of 45 up to sometimes 70 years of age. And one woman by the name of May flew out to see Nader and allegedly this happened because there are pending court documents right now of what this individual claims they went through with Nader essaying them. Um, this is the most embarrassing and difficult video. I'm gonna ever make. I've never made one before. But I hope this uh, gets across. I'm calling myself hurt because I don't want my identity known if possible through uh, Chantel's Booty Booty's channel. I found um, Chef. Nader El Shammies enjoyed watching him make food and his presence and all that. So I decided to send a friend request to him, of which he responded. And I told him I was going to be in Canada for support. And he invited me to hang out with him, to see the sights, and to try some of his food. So once I found a place to stay in Gatineau, I told him where I was, what room I was in, with the, with the deal to be just that, go around, sightsee, whatever. But he came to my room. room. He didn't even say hi or anything. He just grabbed me and pushed me backwards and told me that we have to get these clothes off. And <laughs> the next thing I knew, I was um, in the bed being assault assaulted for the one kind of way. And I told him, please. Stop. I don't want this. He said that I was his B word, W word, that he was going to pound my kitty into the ground. And that no matter what I said, he wasn't going to stop till he was done. So eventually. It was over, well, it was on, and took a shot of alcohol out of a pill bottle looking thing, and uh, didn't say a word to me. He just left. I was ashamed and embarrassed, and the first thing I wanted.
wanted to do was get out of Canada, and it was a day later I did. I um went through a gamut of emotions from depression to anger to embarrassment. What did I do wrong? Uh, all those things. And that's why I'm making this video to make other people aware of just what kind of predator this man is that absolutely does what he wants to do and doesn't care who he does it to or how you feel about it. I feel so stupid for even believing this person. He's, he's uh, very hedonistic, very cold, very calculating. Lady. Very, uh, very delayed. That's the word I'm trying to say. Very much a degenerate. And <laughs> the whole purpose of this video is to let other people know <laughs> what happened and what's going on. And not to let it happen. Home soil now, so I've spoken with the police and had blood work done and <laughs> talked to an attorney and I don't know what else to do. I get this off my chest and let people know what the what kind of man he really is. And if I can help one person, that'll mean the world to me. I thank you for <laughs> for listening. And um, I gotta go now. When it comes to Canada, accessing public records and legal documents and even crimes that people have committed, mugshot, it's not like the US. The US almost everything's public record. You can find anything on anyone. Canada, not so much. But even before this alleged SA of May occurred, Nadir is on camera literally admitting and gloating about stabbing a man and a woman, and that he served prison time d for this crime that he committed in Canada. Flop era, you stabbed two people. Yeah. What? The law said the, the law says it's okay, and uh, I do my time. I do it like a man, and I take it like a man. I don't cry. I've sat for the last week and a half trying to actually access his prison record. Again, Canada is different than the U.S. That's not something that's easily accessible. If anybody has it, if anybody gains, obtains it, please send it my way. It'd be very, very helpful for a future video that I'm also making. But anyway, uh, I found this in the Ottawa Citizen uh, local news. Man and woman treated for stab wounds after attack in a whole apartment, June 17, 2018. So if you skim through this, it doesn't really give a whole lot of detail other than the fact that a man and women were injured in a stabbing and this was at the same time where nadir has actually spoken about when this occurred which was in around june of 2018 now obviously some people have speculated that nadir has made this up that he stabbed two people but i don't know why you would say that to the internet that one i served prison time and i stabbed a man and a woman if it wasn't true you know i'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt we live in a weird day and age where people will say anything for thinking that it grants them clout now one of the things you'll notice about nadir is that he is what a very very quick to anger type dude this man goes from one to 100 almost instantaneously and you can actually see this in many 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 and i'm just going to show a few examples here how angry he gets when anytime he is criticized anytime somebody just makes fun of him you look really carefully this particular clip where he kind of tosses a phone charger at Dee Dee. You can even see her on her own facial expressions. It's very, very clear and apparent what's ongoing here. All because when they were trying to live stream Dee Dee's, uh, the live stream froze. He didn't know that it froze and he got super angry at her and tossed, you know, the phone charger very close to her in an aggressive manner. But you can see her facial expressions. She's like, like, why are you so mad? Why are you angry over this? Streams freeze. It's a thing that happens. Everybody experiences it at some point. How long it was like this? 
How long it was freezing, guys? Frozen. Frozen. It was a long time, guys. When you were wiping the plate. Maya said, no matter, it wasn't long. If you were wiping the plate, so they saw you serving, and then you wiped the plate. One plate, I wiped. Yeah. So they didn't see the second plate. That's all. So they don't see anything, guys. They didn't see the second plate, they didn't see when you took the picture. If I throw the charger on here, is that your fucking business? This is the big question mark. Mm. Is that anybody business? Are you happy? Okay. Are you happy? No. What type of food is referred to by the acronym BLT? Everybody's gonna know this. What BLT? BLT. Make me a BLT sandwich, please. Make me a BLT sandwich, please. Make me a BLT sandwich. Shut the fuck up. Well, you know why you don't know it? Because you don't need it. It's haram. He was trying to get money from her. He wasn't sure. sure. Shut. I was there. Programming. Somebody felt me. Let huh? me finish. I was there. Programming. I was there. Programming. And I heard everything. And the reason we tried it to talk on Saturday it has to do with health. Mental illness is separate. We no, now the hypocrite is going to say no. Mental health is different than other hills. Come on. Adidi Lulu, you all keep talking about accusations of stealing money from children with cancer. Gary didn't deny $50 a It just was, it was not amount promised. No, no it's it amount. Indeed. A lot of fucking you was making fun of my eyesight. Leave my teeth a tie. People support these kids because you have mental health problem. Fuck your mental health you know problem. What? Let me say something. Public here. I mean Open your eyes and know your limits before you go. Because since day one, I know your cuckoo. لازم القوانين ممنوع زي الجربوع صوته يطلع ويكون مسموع هنا طلقة بتنهي الموضوع. بالموت ده قضاء وقدر أنا فاهم رأس في الشارع حضر يعني ما فيش لإكساسك أصلا. حد شايفك يلا. يلا ما حدش شايفه الوهم اللي انت عايش فيه فقط منه ما تعديش مجالك عندك خط ما تعديهوش هنيك عرضك انا اعرف هنيك عرضك امك هنيكها يعني هتتكلم امك هنيكها بلاش انا عشان هقل قلب عليك وهجيبك او انت عارف ان هجيبك بلاش ما تخليش احطك في دماغي ما تخلينيش احطك في دماغي قبل ما هكسر عينك وهكسرك يعني هخليك هكسر عينك وهكسرك قبل ما اكسر عينك قبل ما هكسر عينك خليك تحت هكسرك والله هكسرك بس هتقل ادبك امك البعيده هنيك وهنيكك انت كمان ما تهزرش يا ابني ما تهزرش انا يا حبيبي ما انتش قد يالا بلاش ابعت لك زياره احنا بقول لك هشوفك تعالى قابلني ضحك كتير هبعت لك زوار الزوار بتاعي وحشين يالا في مطال هتنهي الموضوع هتنهي الموضوع يا حبيبي بلاش انا بلاش انا عشان امك وعيلتك هناك انت اولهم هاخدكم بالدور بلاش 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 عشان هنيجي الادب اسمع دي قبل ما هكسر عينك هكسركم تتقطع تتعفن صوص وصلتك رساله بلاش انا اقعد اقعد عشان ما بهزرش انا بقول لك اهو اللي بقوله انا بنفذه اقعد عشان يتقل عليك اتكزم عيودك وقلت لك قبل كده احترم نفسك لنفسك فرصة أخيرة يعني أنا هقفل الستريم دي وهي بتتكلم هجيبك ولما بقول لك هجيبك أنا مش بقول لك ما بهزرش أنا ذكر واللي هقوله هنفذه ARD when are you moving Nader? Very soon لو حد بيت يت بس عشان تايميك شور
Yeah, this chicken is big. It's okay. Yeah, that's why mm -hmm. chicken is big. That's why yeah. I the, the milk. Milk after the dust, eh? Mm -hmm. No, the milk also, but to take that, it's a big size. Right. Big chicken. Mm -hmm. That's why I put milk to take the blood. Okay. Mmm. Hey, failed chef Nadir, this here is a Popeye's deep fried drumstick. And I'm going to take a bite of this on camera for all to see, right? And then I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. Allow me to disrespect you, Nadir, because your cooking's dog shit. How hard is it to not make chicken pink? Not too hard. Look at that. Mmm, another bite. Mmm. See that? That is how chicken is done. If you see lots of little red spots like peppermint, yeah, don't eat that. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna die. Let's do a whole 360 spin. Look at that. That is how proper deep fried chicken is made. Not two minutes in a deep fryer. But should we really be surprised about Chef Nader not being a real chef? I mean, after all, he posts this on the internet thinking this makes him certified in what he does. And it's just a basis certification on food handling that anybody and their mother can get. It's not that hard. This is not an accomplishment. This is not an achievement. And as Didi already pointed out, you didn't even know what the fuck BLT was. Maybe if you would eat pork, you'd be less of a little fucking bitch. There happen to be a lot of ex-mods who have now come out against Nadir for being an abusive piece of shit. But I guess during a face call, FaceTime uh, with Nadir, Didi... And uh, this mod, the mod recorded a bunch of stuff that happened in the um, the condo. Didi's a condo, I should clarify. And roughly near the end of the face messenger, something very, very scary happens. DV. Let me slap your face. Go up charging me. Huh? Go ahead. Do you want to spit in my face too, maybe? Maybe that'll no. make you feel okay? Because, you know, no. throw your cigarette at me, throw your can at me, and then slap me so hard across my face. Do you no. want to spit in my face? 911. Do you want to spit in my face? 911. Spit in my face. 911. Easy. And not only you. And this is not slap. This is joke. I've been slapped with you before. As a joke. As a snap. No, this the is... The slap you just gave me? This is not slap. The slap you just gave me? Yeah. Yeah, what gave that? you? That's you were, fucking physical You're gonna violence. show your tooth. Come on. You're hmm. gonna see the real slap? You're gonna show your tooth. Show me the real slap. Coward. You're gonna show your tooth. Show me the real slap. Coward. You're gonna... Show it to me. Coward. I will put your teeth in your mouth. If I slap you, I will put your teeth in your mouth. See this hand? This one sixty pounds? Mm -hmm. I will make you show in your teeth. Yeah. And all this because you can't fuck Shushu. All this because you can't fuck Shushu. Shushu's attractive. Shushu's skinny. If you're a beautiful woman, beautiful. You can't fuck her. She's he's mad. He can't fuck her because there's another guy. There's another Dom. He's fucking her. He can't stand it. It bothers him. All that because he can't fuck Shushu. I'm fucking. All that because he can't fuck Shushu. Fuck you see how mad? You see? I'm fucking. You see? Who's fucking with my dick? I'm fucking hit. You don't know me. You don't even fuck anybody, said. Watch. Watch. 
and don't let me go live now. She won't hear you anyway. She didn't say anything about the last live she did. She would have said something. She, she will. She stopped watching you. That's covered. She stopped watching you. She will. No. Believe me, she will. No. Believe me, she will. Don't push my limits. Because I have don't no limits. Fine. I have no don't limits. Don't push mine. Fuck you, fuck don't your limits. Fine. You don't know me. You don't know me. I'm not going there. You fuck with me. Listen. You fuck with the people I love. I said that's what you... You fuck with my mother, my brother, people that I love. No, I don't fuck your mother or fuck with your brother. I fuck you up. You fuck with people that I love. I will fuck you up. That's it. Respect. You fuck. It's not gonna happen. Well, surely, that's it. It's not happening. She has Mike. She wants. Uh, she with Mike. She's afraid that Mike's gonna. Okay, then it's over, son. Surely, forget it. You wanna go on fat life? You wanna <sighs> find another person? You wanna find another woman? Why shoo shoo? Forget about shoo shoo. Why you? Shoo shoo. Forget about. Why you? Why do you have to have? Why you? Why are you obsessed with shoo shoo? Why you? Why are you obsessed with shoo shoo? Why you? Why me? What? Shoo shoo. Why are you obsessed with her? Shoo shoo. Why are you obsessed? I'm with obsessed with her. She was always like to see this. Okay, so she wants to see her penis. Big deal. And she was here. She was here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she gave you a hard time. And she didn't want. And she was like, no, no. And you fucked I'm not her. talking anymore. Okay, there you go. She's, She's fucked. fucked. She's fucked. No. She's fucked. fucked. She's fucked. Who? She's fucked. Her? She's no, fucked. she's not. She is. No. She is. It's not your choice. No. It's not your choice. She's fucked how? I show you how. He's, he's mad because he can't fuck her. Because you liar. A liar how? Because you lie. How? And I tell you now something? How? I tell you something? I'm not gonna fuck you. Okay. Don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. Okay. At all. At all. Mm. Hey, you've been here a week and you sleep on the couch two days in one week. Oh, wow. This is so hot. Mm -hmm. wow. mm. I cannot fuck, sorry. I can't fuck. No. I don't know. Because he's fuck. obsessed with Shushu. He's obsessed with Shushu. He's obsessed with her. You know how? Obsessed. You know who's gonna fuck her? Obsessed with her. Chantal gonna fuck her. You're obsessed with her. Chantal gonna fuck her. No. Watch. Go bring Mike to fuck you. No. <clears throat> bring my stuff. No. Bring my stuff. No. I will broke everything. Listen, I will broke everything. Bring my stuff. No. Very bear my stuff. Is this uh very bear my stuff? Is that Nana that you know? Very bear my stuff. Who's this person right now? Coward. Who's this person? The right coward now? one. Now you see the coward one. Obsessed with Shirley. Obsessed with Shushu. That's the person I know right now. I'll show you how she's fucked. Obsessed. Don't talk to me. Oh, oh my god. You motherfucker. Okay. Don't talk okay. to me that way. Okay. I have okay. Okay. Don't talk me that way. Okay. 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 Coward, you fucking bitch. Okay. Nah, get on okay. Me. How many times you say coward? Huh? How many times? Huh? How many times? You shut up now. And Dean al Khala, Dean Om. What? Something else? Huh? Something else? Something else? Something else? Huh? Mm, yes, me are. And tomorrow she's dark. And I fuck with her. I fuck with your friend. Huh? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you want to fuck me up? Go call the police. You're dead. Dead body. Delphine? God take her from me. Because I was going to do his job. I get out of the jail. If she's alive, she's dead. And if I go to jail one day for Chantal, she's dead. Don't tell me she you don't know who evil I am. You don't fucking know who evil I am. You know, not with those. Not with those. You see this? I will fucking need it. This road, I will fucking just take it out with my teeth, not with my hands. Remember I told you? You're not gonna wish to see me fight. Because you're not gonna like me at all. 
Because nothing has changed. When I come to this point, it's not me. Just kill me when I see them eat people. But I'm fucking eat people. I am. <laughs> what? What? What you say? Daddy, please help me. Who? Daddy, my father. I want to help me. Sit down. Sit down. People here scared from jail. This is, this is here is not jail. You don't see real jail. This jail. When I don't talk the language, I was the fucking boss in your fucking jail. In here. This jail vacation. You don't see real jail. Here jail, they have TV, they have their own cell. Right? You don't see other jail how it looks like. No, sorry, white people, I'm not tough. Sorry. Your criminal here is not tough. He was bitches. I was slapped them like this too. And they don't open their fucking mouth. Like this, exactly like this. When I slapped them, I was sitting down like this. I tell them the same. If you fucking hold my fucking, stop my hand, I'll fucking beat you more. And you don't defense. Jail. This is violence. This is domestic violence. There's no running around the corner in hopes that the this could be potentially something else. It isn't. And specifically the fact that Dee Dee cries out for her deceased father after she's being beaten by Nadir, after she's being degraded by Nadir. Both Dee Dee and Nadir dismiss this saying that this was edited, taken out of context. Then when that didn't fit the narrative of domestic violence, Dee Dee then said that it's BDSM. And I'll be the first one to tell you. It's not. You have a victim, Dee Dee, who is under constant pressure to act normal and to act like everything is okay. This is one of those classic, you're in an abusive relationship, but the victim doesn't acknowledge or see that they're in an abusive relationship and will do anything they can to defend and stand by their own abuser. It's a very difficult thing to watch and see because that victim is in a denial stage. I've been there. A lot of people have been there. Think that you're doing a good deed by defending and standing by the person who's abusing you. But that's the power of manipulation in an abusive relationship. You don't see that you're being abused when all the signs are right there publicly for people to see. No normal person cries out for their dead father during BDSM. No one goes into complete and utter silence. You'll notice, you know, that whole dialogue between them is that she's you know standing up for herself no i'm not doing this i'm not doing this and then when he threatens her gets up and physically hits her she goes from i'm gonna defend myself to i give up i'm hurt i'm crying like she's having a full-on mental breakdown it's really disturbing to see this it's also important that i have a specific message for you directly dd i know you don't know me i don't know you um I know that you recently got fired from a job due to his Nadir's involvement or trolls or people who, you know, are following Nadir very closely. But this is what I would like to say to Didi. If you are watching this, please leave. Kick him out of your condo. This man is leeching off you. He is stealing from you, taking your retirement funds away from you nobody deserves even if you've helped defend an abuser nobody deserves to experience abuse in this way it is not bdsm it is abuse i've been where you are currently it's in your body language your facial expressions going to defending yourself saying i'm not going to do this and then when they lash out at you it breaks you and then you end up doing what they told you to do. It's a toxic, destructive, dangerous cycle that can take a lot of tries to get out of successfully. And as somebody who has been there, you do not deserve this. You deserve to be free from this man who is taking advantage of you financially for his own personal gain. This man is violent. This man is quick to anger. And the longer you stay in that relationship, the higher percentage of you being actually killed by him in a domestic violence relationship, the percentage goes up with time. If you, DD, would like to reach out to me personally, my email is linked down below in the description. I know you may be watching this and you're just going to dismiss it, but please, as somebody who has been there and knows what you're experiencing, you can get out at any age. Don't let this man take anything else from you. But in a small string of good news, so Canadian police 
have actually opened a case against an investigation, I should say, against Natterell. But as of yesterday, the 14th of September, <sighs> did something illegal again. He was on live stream with Didi, and he flashed his pickle live on camera. And then after that flashing occurred, I'm going to show partially this screenshot. I'm not showing the clip of the video for obvious reasons because I don't want this video to get removed. But Didi starts providing him a hand job live on YouTube. Yes, this was just the other day. But here's the tricky part in all this. After the live stream was finished, he made the stream private. Therefore, nobody could report it. Then, as of this morning, the video came back out, and he used the YouTube editor, because YouTube has like an in uh, interface editor to edit videos. If you miss something or screw something up, you can edit it through the YouTube studio thingy. It's pretty shit, but, you know, if you have to use it, you have to use it. He went back and he edited out his pickle flash along with the hand job. The fact of the matter is this did happen. It happened live on camera. That in and of itself is definitely reason enough to be struck but well, there's really not anything you or i can do or i don't even think youtube can do at this point because he removed the segments in which would have received him a strike had he left that on but it just goes to show how far natter is trying to push with his youtube channel you know just several weeks ago another one of his ex mods came out and made a video on him that's linked down below in the description where he allegedly is threatening her with revenge porn so there's a youtuber he has like 10,000 subscribers and i sent him um, new pictures, uh -huh. all right? He's mad at me, so he literally is threatening to show all of my new pictures online. He started showing it, and he showed my whole face and just blocked out my body. But he lives in Canada, so the police don't care that he's showing revenge porn. This is not the first time he's been accused of threatening to release people's doxes and revenge porn of other people. Female mods of his, specifically. But hey, Natter, if you're watching this, the Eye of Sauron is watching you. Everything is being observed and documented. I know you just said, I think it was two days ago, that you're going to strike anybody who uses your content. It just further proves how deranged you are as a domestic abuser who can't accept the fact that your cooking is absolute dog shit. And you don't even know how to provide for yourself. You have to rely and survive on vulnerable older women and it's not often that i would say something like this it's not a term i've ever said in my youtube channel before but i'm gonna say it here natter you're a immigrant leech you are what gives people who do immigrant bad names people who actually want to have a successful life and have a different life a better life you hurt and take advantage of anyone you possibly can because you don't know what it's like to actually put hard work into something you rely upon others to do everything for you fuck people like you fuck domestic violence fuck your threats but most of all dd please get out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or hit that bell notifications so any new video that comes out will be sent to your sub box additionally all of my social links are linked down below in the description but i also want to give us just two shout outs to specifically mo translates this uh very small channel i recently received uh two false copyright strikes from natter Her catalog of archiving streams and specifically translating a lot of the stuff has been very, very helpful, not only for me, but other people. Additionally, Mary Cab MC. Those are the two people that I use for a lot of reference of clips to find certain things because there's just so many streams and so much content that he has produced on his YouTube channel. That sifting through two to three, four hour live streams is really, as a one person, it's a lot of work. So thank God for archive channels, for God's sake. But as I said in the start of this video, um, please download this video. And if this video gets copyright struck, upload as many copies as you possibly can because i feel like this video is going to get taken down simply due to the nature and style that it is and natter not being able to exist with people saying something negative about him much less criticizing him his ego is so juicy and fat that the guy's unhinged okay anyways thanks for watching again all my links are linked down below dv charity right or left Let's hit $1,000 milestone. Check out my gaming channel if that's something you're into, because after this video is published, I'm going to be live streaming on there. I'm now doing live call-ins, so if you guys want to come and pop in my Discord and talk with me, I'm in my Discord linked all the way down at the bottom of the description. I will see you guys next week for another video. We got to talk about Nickelodeon.